been spotted. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> you see? Oh, oh, uh oh. Uh oh. I accidentally looked at the Enderman. I might die, guys. I might die. I'm probably dead. I died. <laughs>Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tim Plays here and we are back with another Minecraft survival episode for you guys. So, in this episode, we are going to go back into the end and since we already beat the Ender Dragon, we don't have to worry about that anymore. But I want to go back and create ourselves an Enderman farm. I'm going to show you guys the exact step-to-step tutorial to making this awesome ender farm i wish i had a jack-o-lantern i mean a pumpkin head without a jack-o-lantern on it but i guess i don't have any i guess i'm gonna have to find some endermen along the way but i think i'm gonna head back over there i need to find my way back so i brought some ender pearls and an eye of ender so i'm hoping that we can find our way back over to the uh stronghold because i kind of forgot where it was I kind of forgot. So we got our lava right here for our iron golem farm. I want to check it out. I want to see how much iron we already have because I haven't been here for a while and I don't know if this is even running anymore. Let's check it out. Let's see how much iron we have. Yeah, it hasn't been running very long. So it's just going to be sitting there just like that. But I'm going to go and head over to the end. I'll see you guys when we are over there. All right, we are at the end portal right here. So we are right here and there's already a lot of creepers around since it's already nighttime. It took me a while to get here. I don't know how long it usually takes me, but it took me quite a bit of time. Let's hop down here since we already made ourselves a nice little staircase down. So we're going to head down and we are going to begin making this enderman farm so i actually don't know how to make the enderman farm very well so i'm gonna have to watch a tutorial while i make this tutorial <laughs> that's kind of funny guys so we're gonna have to do a here so i already got a bunch of chests this is all the stuff that i brought with me for now but let's head on in to the end and i think i'm ready to begin our end farm so i'm gonna go set up my stuff somewhere where should we start our enderman farm i kind of want to do it let's do it somewhere not too far from our spawn area but i don't want to make it connect actually that kind of sounds like a good idea let's go back to our spawn area and we're gonna start our enderman farm this way so let's get our chests out and I'm going to build out over here. So let's get some oak leaves. I kind of want to build out of oak because this block, Enderman can't spawn on it, which is really, really nice. So let's place down some chests and put away our stuff in it. I kind of don't like how these chests don't connect when I hold shift. kind of makes it really hard to build stuff. So let's put away all this stuff. And I think I'm ready to start. I actually want to get a bunch of end stone so we can get some nice little blocks in here. So we're going to head over this way and get some end stone. While I get some end stone, I want to talk to you guys. What do you guys think about this series? This series is probably the biggest like series I have going on on my channel right now. And I hope you guys really do enjoy it. And I want to make some other series on this channel. Right now we have the combined survival map which is really fun i think that's probably my favorite survival series right now but it's not doing as well as this series so if you guys want to check it out it's a really fun series that i just started recently it only has three episodes so far but i think it's probably one of my best series out there right now so i hope you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to leave a like down below if you guys do like my survival series because these are fun to make as well and i really Really like making these we have made so much progress since we begun making this survival world and i'm having a lot of fun doing this i think i'm further than my brother now i don't know tell me guys in the comments am i ahead of my brother because i haven't checked out his survival series in a while so i don't know what do you guys think i think i've made so much progress in between episodes and made so many farms but anyways guys let's head on back over to our little spawn area and we can probably start out our farm now because i have enough blocks of end stone and we are ready whoa what is that i didn't even notice that what is that block up there i think i've seen it in someone else's videos but 
I don't know what it is for. All right, um, I'm gonna put away like all of my stuff because I don't want to lose any of it. Like none of this I want to lose. So we're gonna put it away. We don't need to worry about dying other than having the 64 levels go away, which I won't be very happy if I lose it all. So we're actually gonna build out this way for like over 150 blocks. So my goal is to get out pretty far. So I'm gonna try to use at least um a stack and a half let's see that actually two stacks and a half so we're already almost done with one stack and when i get over there i'll tell you guys what to do next guys this is kind of nerve-wracking i don't know if you guys ever bridged in the end but this is kind of scary all you see is this dark space underneath you and you don't know where you're gonna go if you fall off it's kind of scary like you don't know where you whoa <laughs> look at this it looks like i'm in like a big black box and i don't know where i am the only sign that i know i'm on ground is this pathway that i made but this is kind of scary if you guys haven't played in the end you guys should try it out it's really trippy i think it's probably one of the best dimensions i don't really like the nether as much as the end because i think they have so much more stuff in the end we haven't found an end city either we should probably go find that in probably the next episode. We're going to try to get an elytra wing. I kind of want to get an elytra wing because I've never experienced flying in survival before. So we're going to try that out in the next episode. So I hope you guys stick around for that. That should be fun. So let's we're almost there, actually. So we should be there, right? Come on now. There we go. We are at the next part, but we have to go back and get our stuff again because I didn't want to lose my stuff. So I build out here without much stuff. So we're going to get some. What should we get? I think I'm going to get all my blocks and that should be all we need. I don't want to lose any of my items because I'm kind of scared. This place is kind of scary. There's so many endermen. What the heck is going on over there? Let's get our pickaxe, get some food, chest, water bucket, and stone. Let's just take everything, actually. I don't even know anymore. We're going to take everything and put our chest over there as well. So we can't really lose everything. So let's put this back on right there. And we should be ready. I'm going to head down back over there. Don't fall off the edge, please, Tim. I know you can walk in a straight line. <laughs> this is kind of scary, but... Once we get over there, we're going to place down our chest and put everything away once again. Because I don't want to lose any of my stuff, guys. This is a little nerve-wracking. All right, right here, we are there. And now we're going to build a little platform right there. Place down our chest and put everything away except our end stone and water buckets. And some leaves. We're going to keep some leaves as well. And that's all. We are ready to start our end farm. All right, guys. So now we're going to get our water bucket. I'm going to put away our armor because this is going to be a really tricky thing to do. So we're going to put away that. And right over here, let's build out a little bit more. Right over here in this spot right here, we're going to build a ring and water down the center just like this. Okay, so now we're going to drop down. Hope that we don't die to our desk because I don't want to lose my stuff either. And build all the way down. <gasps> oh my gosh, I almost killed myself right there, guys. <laughs> that gave me a heart attack, not going to lie. Okay, anyways, <laughs> we're going to build all the way down to where we can't build anymore. So we're going to build all the way down until the water stops. One more block. One more block, Tim. One more block. One more block. <laughs> One more block. There we go. All right. Whew. That was so scary. <laughs> Next step, guys. So we're going to have to build out, I think, 25 blocks out this way. So we're going to do F3G. So F3G. And it shows up this chunk barrier thing. So I want to stay inside of one chunk. So we're going to build out this way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So we are in another chunk now. And I kind of I need to get to the center of this chunk. Right here in this middle of the chunk, we're going to build out 
three blocks in every direction out of end stone guys make sure it's out of end stone or cobblestone and not out of leaves because you got to make sure the endermen spawn on this and not something else there we go so this area right here is gonna be where the endermen are gonna spawn we're gonna make it four blocks wide and seven blocks long on the sides and this is where the endermen's gonna spawn guys all right guys now the next step is placing leaves around your little end stone platform now so we're gonna build out this way two blocks of leaves in every side right here so we're gonna build out this way two blocks right here just like this and this should be where the endermen spawn make sure to place torches down because if you don't the endermans are already gonna spawn so you gotta make sure you place those torches as quick as possible this is really important so you don't die to the enderman before you even get to build this farm i don't have a pickaxe with me so i've got to break this with my fist so this is gonna take a bit of time and there we go okay so now we're gonna head back this way 15 block 15 is right here okay so now we're gonna build up three four blocks right here and we're gonna build ourselves a nice little box too tall in every corner we're gonna place two minecart tracks a minecart in a little bit we're gonna have to use all these ender pearls right here and try to spawn ourselves a endermite because this is really important we gotta make sure we heal up too because this is gonna hurt a little bit as we do this in ender pearl come on there we go oh we already got it real quick let's place the minecart right here hop up and break the minecart give me this minecart there we go and place the minecart down here hopefully the endermite walks into it um let's build right here push the minecart can we push the minecart I might have to hop down there. This is gonna hurt, guys. This is gonna hurt. Uh, push the minecart. Why is the minecart not moving? There we go. We got the endermite. Yes. That was a lot easier than I thought. Okay. We got the endermite into a minecart, and that was a huge moment for us, guys. We got the endermite, so we're gonna leave this right here, and we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so we're gonna line this up right here. So we're gonna break every single block surrounding this. All right, so I spent a little bit of time doing this cause I wasn't totally sure on how to do this. So actually we're gonna have to make this three blocks long or three blocks wide. And this is gonna be how this Enderman farm's gonna work. So once the Endermen spawn right here, they're going to start running straight towards the Endermite right here. And they're going to try to push all the way to the Endermite. Let's make sure the Endermite's in there still. Are you still in there? Endermite? Where'd you go? I thought the Endermite got in there. <laughs> I guess we didn't get the Endermite. Um, let's actually redo this part because I guess the Endermite didn't actually get into the hole. So we're going to break that block place this back and retry this entire thing again guys because apparently the endermite got out i don't know how but i'm surprised the enderman is too intelligent for us we're gonna have to try to get to get another endermite back just like this oh no i almost died again we should probably put a name tag on him too let's head on to the top i have iron up there and i also brought name tags i'm so smart guys i didn't even think about this but we got some name tags so we're gonna get ourselves a name for our little endermite right there there we go we got an anvil put it right here and get ourselves a name tag let's name it what should we name it let's name it it's gonna be little stevie that's our little endermite we're gonna name it little stevie we got our little friend stevie right here and he's gonna be our good old endermite that's gonna be chilling down there for us thank you little stevie we're gonna need you you're a big factor to our little enderman farm so hope you do us good and make this entire thing work out little stevie is he in there please tell me he's still in there he despawned once again gosh darn it <laughs> All right, third time's the charm, am I right, guys? Third time's the charm. Let's try to name it. Yeah, we got it. Little Stevie right there. We got little Stevie up there. Get rid of all these leaf blocks because we don't want any of those blocks anymore. Let's make another crafting bench as well. We're going to have to make ourselves some slabs. We need some slabs. 
and some trap doors trap doors right here we got some eight trap doors let's get these trap doors and put them right over here so right here we're gonna place three trap doors along the edge all right don't hurt me little stevie i don't mean no harm there we go and open up these trap doors and now we got our endermen stuck in there once they spawn in because they'll be trying to get this endermite they will be trying real hard to get this endermite <laughs> we're gonna get some slabs place it right there and right here so we can actually hit the endermen when we're right here and they can't hit us so that is where we're gonna have to make our little pathway i'm gonna get rid of all these leaf blocks right here and we're gonna make a platform going all the way back to our water stream over there okay and i think this should be basically done think i'm ready guys this farm should be done can check out the chest we got our endermite little stevie up there and i gotta head over here pretty quickly and get started on our farm and i'm ready to get rid of these torches once we get rid of these torches we gotta run we gotta run to our farm over there as quick as possible and let's run back guys we gotta run now run over here shift underneath and these mobs should start spawning Let's watch these Endermen spawn. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> you see? Oh, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I accidentally looked at the Endermen. I might die, guys. I might die. I'm probably dead. I died. <laughs> guys, that was crazy. <laughs> Did you see all those Endermen? I probably shouldn't have looked at them. That was a really bad mistake by me. But we should head back and I think I'll get my stuff back. I don't think I have to worry about these Endermans killing me. But our stuff should be there. Please be there. I was wearing all my armor and everything. There we go. Oh gosh, these guys are spawning outside now. I think I made a big mistake, guys. We gotta build a too tall roof above us so the Endermans can't like actually spawn outside of this place we got our site nice little area right here and we should be safe now now we can fight these endermen in peace and not have to worry about dying all right let's hit these guys and kill all of them oh my gosh that's so loud holy you guys probably didn't hear all of that but that was so loud <laughs> You guys probably didn't hear any of that because I probably muted it down all the way for you guys because that was so loud. All right, let's head back over here and see more Endermen spawning. All right, we can look back here and it's already full again. This is so good. It's already at its like maximum capacity, so they can't even spawn anymore. They're all dying right now because there's too many Endermen. So if we just stand back here, I'm pretty sure we could just get unlimited ender pearls just by standing here. This is so cool. Do you guys see how much this is? Guys, I'm going to kill these guys. It's going to be super loud, so I'm going to turn down my sound, actually. Now we just hit them and kill all of them. <laughs> Goodbye, Enderman. I'm so sorry, but you guys have to die. And we're already level 22 already level 22 and we're still going up in levels we're still going up in levels let's check out the chest actually i can't even reach the chest from here let's check it out we got over nine stacks of ender bros this is so much i don't even know what to say guys this is too much stuff going on for me oh did they kill the endermite i think they just killed the endermite guys they killed our endermite no our friend endermite is dead <laughs> We gotta save our endermite one more time guys. We gotta get another little Stevie for ourselves fixed up our enderman farm Now they can't even touch him I gotta make sure that none of them can even get close to him now We got our nice little little Stevie jr. Right there I name tag both of them so you guys can see what I just did and and now we're gonna go back here Do we have any more ender? Oops, they got through somehow. Uh Oh, we don't want any enderman right here kill all of these guys i don't know what you guys want from me there's so many back here let's block it off again there we go and now you guys can see all these endermen right here and this should work perfectly now you just gotta kill them right here and they should all just die instantly i think they're gonna keep spawning afterwards because this works so quickly 
that it'll just keep working so we're gonna hop in there get all the XP and run all the way back here so we're gonna actually zoom in from back here and you guys should be able to see them already spot again guys you guys see all these guys already fully maxed out <laughs> they're already basically maxed to the capacity that they can be at now we just run back over here and bam guys we have made our awesome enderman farm look at all these ender pros they're already spawning again guys that was amazing i hope you guys did enjoy this video we're gonna actually go look for an end city after this episode so in the next episode hope you guys are ready because we're gonna go try to find an end city but look at all these mobs we made this awesome little contraption if you guys want to see more of this they're all dying because there's too many in there but if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to leave a like down below subscribe and turn on post notifications it helps out a lot guys and i hope you guys did enjoy this was really fun to make guys we made a nice little automatic enderman farm right here and i hope you guys enjoy i'll see you guys next time peace out boys peace 